Hello, you empath experts. Today, I will show you how to create these beautiful uh, forms. So, beautiful forms like a, uh, the input form and the data grid. And if you want to delete, you can delete from here. And if you want to add, you can add from here. It's any number of sheets. So, uh, normally, how, how much time or cost it will take to create a, a, a web page like this as for the normal developer, right? It will take time. But now let us see how the, our UI path creates a uh, web pages like that. Okay, so I'm just um, removing this. I created the a folder called iPhone in the in the desktop. So this is the Excel I have. This is the Excel I have. Okay, the Excel contains a uh, uh, 50 or uh, two 51 records. If we remove the headers, okay, this is the Excel. Okay. And just drag and drop. See, the robot is running. Just drag and drop into this folder, okay? So if you drag and drop into this folder, automatically creates a, a web page. See, it won't take at least one minute, okay? The, normally, the web developers will take a lot of time, right? So it's created the form, and it is added the, all the grid. If you want to remove, so for, for example, just imagine, I'm just opening the Excel and see the data. The same data is appeared here, okay. So if you see the first one, let me delete the first one, okay. First one, that's okay, Rangaraj. Just delete and delete this one in the web page. Automatically, it will delete from here. So if you see what is the data, so earlier it is a 51, now it's a 50, 50 records, okay. Now if you want to add the new items, just add the new item, okay, uh, DNA, uh, DNA, a four digit number and Sudhi uh, uipath.learner at gmail.com. So if you just click on the submit, what it will do, it will submit the record. It will add the record at the end. He see here, it is record at the end. At the same time, you can see the Excel, the record is newly added record is added in the end. Okay, so not only that, so you can create any number of forms. Just imagine, let's let's go to the orders. So these are orders, right? So open the Excel and see what all the data is available in this Excel, okay? So there's a lot of data is available. So what I will do, I will change the names, name of the tab basically uh, to the new orders. Okay, so if you have a multiple tabs, so if you create a multiple tabs uh, records, okay. So this is another one, okay. So area codes, okay. So this is a, like a item view. So this one I am just deleting. So we have a multiple tabs, so multiple tabs, okay. Let's drag and drop this Excel inside the inside the folder, okay. So once you drag and drop, see how much time, so it is a just a less than minute, so seconds. See, it's created the, all the tabs. If you go to the area codes, if you go, it will show the all the area codes Excel, okay. If you go to the uh, item view, so the item view is there here, okay. If you go to the new orders, these are all the new orders, okay. So the menu automatically to be created. So the Excel, how many sheets are there? Those, those many sheets with the sheet names, it will create a menu. And the uh, data, it will show in the below. And also, not only that it will create, you can create your order numbers, or ODR, uh, something like that. And the uh, order date is like a 12-12-2022. Uh, our item code is uh, something like that. Address is a uh, Angul. Angul. Just click on submit. Once you click on the submit, it will add at the end. You, you can see the record, a new record added here. Not only really that, so if you just open the orders Excel sheet, it will add into the uh, this Excel sheet. This Excel sheet, it will it will just imagine this is a so maybe the spaces is available here. That's why it is uh, added at the end. So okay, now let's go to the uh, a new orders. Okay, new orders. So multiple pages. Suppose, for example, new orders. Okay, or new orders. Okay, so let me let me parallelly. Okay, let's go to the end. End. 
and add the, a new record. See here, I'm just adding a new record. You can monitor a, a bit, uh, order site, how it will date. Item code, orders. Just click on submit. You can see the Excel. Uh, the Excel cell, yeah, okay, there is a exception. And if you see, okay, so let us try with the another, another workflow, another, another, let's try with the another Excel, okay, so where it has a new schools. So I'm just dragging the new schools to here, once it, and the new schools, it automatically create a, a new school with that Excel new school HTML came. Okay. So this is a sheet name. So we have a only sheet name is there. And this is a sheet name. If you want to delete, you can delete. And you have, if you want to add, you can add the, a new data. School code, what is the school phone number? School phone number. And what is the number of students? And click on the submit. It's okay. It will add at the end of the page. Okay, let us see whether the school is added, new school is added into this Excel or not. This new school is added. Okay, new school is added. For example, if you want to delete the school, so you can delete the school. So let's go and delete the same school which we added. Okay, this is the added the same school which has a 342 students. Now let's close and see whether this, this change is affected in the Excel or not. See, 342, it's record is deleted, okay. So that is a, uh, I built uh, uh, in UI path. So this is a UI I form. So I form is basically a built in the triggers, parallel activities and triggers, uh, okay. Triggers, so uh, we have a submit trigger, delete trigger and you can use the monitor Excel also. So this is the code. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.